Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and the start of another vlog. It is Tuesday. It's actually 1.30 now. I'm just starting to film. Had a very busy morning. Had to take my dad to the doctor. And if you've been here a while, you know that that is a, that's quite an ordeal to get my dad anywhere because he needs a wheelchair. So I've got to get him in and out of the car, the wheelchair in and out of the car, back in and out of the car. By the time we get home from an outing, I'm like, I'm just dead. So, and it's cold. So anyway, he went to the pain doctor this morning and saw the other doctor in the practice who does, um, who's now doing pain pumps. Um, he wasn't that optimistic that a pain pump would work for my dad. Just to catch you up, if you're new, my dad broke his back last year and the bone that broke, they did a the concrete stuff, the cement stuff they put in it. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, um, but it's still, because of arthritis and age, the bone's still kind of shifting. It's sh pressing on nerves that go into the legs and the hips. So he's not sure that a pain pump would help. Basically, a pain pump's going to shoot morphine directly into the source of the pain. Um, so what he wants to do first is do some testing and do at least one, maybe two trial injections and um, inject morphine directly into where the pain is emanating from. And if he gets some relief from morphine, then that would signal that a pain pump would be worth it. If he does these injections and the morphine doesn't touch it, then a pain pump isn't gonna be, it's not gonna do anything. So it's just hard. He didn't seem very optimistic about it. He said, I mean, you know, they start going into medical jargon. You're like, uh-huh, um, but he is gonna to talk to my dad's surgeon who did the surgery just to get her feedback on it. And I did call his doctor to ask if he can go off aspirin for a little while, which I'm sure he can, cause he has before, in order to get this injection. So hopefully we can at least do this inject. He's had other injections, but not this kind and not directly into the fluid area or something where, I don't know, it's, it's just a different injection in a different part and more in it's morphine. So anyway, hopefully he can at least try, I mean, at least try it. So anyway, but I'm already like, oh God, that's gonna be how many trips to the hospital? How many are we gonna do? I can just see this being another long road ahead, but if it helps and there's, a, there's some hope, um, then we gotta try something because he can't stand or walk for more than 30 seconds and he's in so much pain, he has to sit down so it's very difficult. Um, Teddy and Charlie are doing great, my pugs. Teddy is 11 weeks old today. He um, has been going outside great. He's really has picked up on uh, potty training. He knows when we're out there and I give him his commands to go, so that's awesome. He and Charlie are getting along really well. They cuddled up together last night when I left home. They were cuddled up with my dad. And I woke up this morning, because I've been letting Teddy have the run of the house at night, we do shut the bathroom doors and a couple doors, but he can go from my bedroom, living room, kitchen, and he can go to my dad's room. So he's been having kind of the run of that area and he did really well. And when I woke up this morning, he had crawled back into bed with me with one of his toys and was like right asleep right by me. So he's doing well, Charlie's adjusted. Everybody in that respect is doing okay. I just went to the pharmacy. Now I'm gonna go into Fairway, get some groceries tomorrow. Teddy has to go back to the vet for uh, another shot. And then Friday, Charlie's got to go to the vet for anals. And then in the afternoon, the insurance guy's coming for the window. So it's just a busy week, a lot going on. But anyway, I'm going to go in now and get some groceries. Super exciting. And a good old Fireway, which is a small regional grocery store. They just have groceries. It's you know, That's the one good thing. You can get in here and just get the food and get out. You're not having to go by the bank and the dry cleaner and all the other stuff that the other stores sell. But anyway, okay, I've killed enough time. Got to go in.
good. These things always look good in the store, but then you get them home and they taste like crap. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Make my own salad if I want it. Those two are wild. The dogs are wild. Well, I'm glad they're playing. Play down on the floor with each other and not me. <laughs> Don't bring me a toy. You two play. Oh, they got a hat. Oh, a hat. That's a yellow hat, and it's mine. Oh, here they come. They're coming to you. Now they're going to play on you. <laughs> Charlie, is that a hat? <laughs> so it's Tuesday night now, and I have two eBay orders. Um, I sent a best off for $15 for this little grouping here of vintage packing materials. So $15 with free shipping. I've had these quite a while. So glad to get those out of here. And then someone offered me 20 for this uh, strawberry shortcake uh, set, but, and they are paying shipping on this. Um, I do have, I have been changing a few again to best offer, but the buyer's paying shipping on the larger stuff and the stuff that's been sitting for ages. So just kind of, you know, looking at every listing individually, what's the best. I think I got this for $4, I believe. Um, it is missing the uh, little stand here. But um, so 20 bucks with the buyer paying shipping. And it's a bulky item that um, I'm glad is out of here. Got back from taking Teddy to the vet. He got another vaccine. And um, I had them do his nails got him some more food. They got to cuddle him for a while. Um, but we are home now and I did have one eBay order. This is another uh, Fiesta Wear piece that my brother brought over. Um, it sold for 20 and the buyer is paying shipping. It did have a little tiny flea, flea bite thing, but I put in the listing that I'm not sure if that's an actual ship or just the seal didn't take. Sometimes the paint, you know, doesn't quite take on some of these pieces because they are hand on. So anyway, $20 on this with the buyer paying shipping. I hope today to get more eBay listings up. I still have drafts ready to go. So I need to complete those. I want to get all of those done by Friday so that I can take more photos this weekend. Although there is an estate sale this weekend. It's been a long time since I've been to an estate sale. I don't even think I've been to an estate sale this year. So I'm excited to go and um, see if I can get some new inventory for eBay. What are you doing, teddy bear? <gasps> yeah, hi. How you feeling after going to the doctor this morning? Got another shot. Yeah. Gained a pound. We're doing really well. A little sleepy. That's okay. You've been playing with Charlie, haven't you? <gasps> Charlie? They've been playing hard all day. Well, not all day, but seems like it when they're playing on your feet. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy you and Charlie are getting along and playing. Oh, oh time to go, go back to sleep. It's okay. Look at how cute you are chewing your bone. That is adorable. It's a little bone for a little boy. Isn't it? Aww. Charlie's sleeping. <laughs> huh? Is that a good little bone? Aww. That's adorable. Better chew that than the cords. You like cords? Do electrical cords taste good? Yeah. I don't know about you, silly boy. Eating cords. <laughs> so I am finally getting around to opening up some mail and packages that I have. Melissa Fresh Blooming Clothing, I'm in her Patreon group, sent this envelope and I am so embarrassed. I don't know how long it's been sitting here. I have been reorganizing and moving and I think it just got put into a different pile. And so yeah, Melissa, <laughs> I just now opened this, but look what she wrote on the envelope. I just realized I never wrote anything inside. Oops. And so she sent me this card and she also made me these address labels, which I can't show because it has my address, but made me those and the card. And then she said, the bookmark is from her sister, Lisa. She special ordered from the UK View and it's The Handmaid's Tale. Oh my gosh, Lisa, thank you so much. I love this. 
that is too funny and super cute card and address labels. So thank you, Melissa and Lisa. I love it. So the next thing I'm opening up is Lippy Box from January. I did cancel this box um, just because I pulled back on the subscription boxes. I was going to kind of try to be a like a subscription box channel. It just wasn't working. Um, I was getting too much stuff and I was feeling like, ah, this is too much clutter. The views weren't like great. So anyway, but um, this is a monthly um, lip balm subscription. So if you want to check it out, there is the link. So this was the January one that I just now opened. We've got some buttery popcorn lip scrub. This is a beauty blender. A frizzy cola lip balm. And then, what is this? What are you? Um, caramel corn lip gloss? Yeah, so there's basically three lip products and then the Beauty Blender, which is, I don't know, that was all that was in the January. So yeah, I have let this one go. But, you know, they do a lot of like small companies and artists and stuff. So it is a higher price point because of that. But I don't know, I kind of get, was getting the same stuff every month. So this was an easy one to let go. And then the other two packages that I have not opened until now are the um, Lip Monthly Plus. So Lip Monthly, I've opened these on my channel before, has a monthly subscription where you get five lip products. And then they came out with the Lip Monthly Plus, which you get more stuff. <laughs> so I thought I would give it a try to review it. So let me open up this first one. Whoa. So this, I'm assuming this is a Lip Monthly Plus or just, just a regular. Okay, this is a lit monthly. <laughs> oh, December, wow, I'm really behind. Um, so there's that. We have a Bella Pierre Cosmetics. What are you? Like, I can't even read what that is. I'm assuming it's a lit product, I don't know. Then there's this all day smooch proof lip stain, smooch proof lip stain, this lip liner from Evio Beauty. Then Feather Matte Liquid Lipstick from IBY. I've never heard of any of these brands. Then let's see, um, Hakari Lipstick. A Cargo Gel Lip Color. And then Chroma. And this is a lip palette, I'm assuming. Can I get it open with one hand? Can I, can I? Oh, come on. Don't make me put the camera down. Ooh, clunk. Oh, seriously, come on. I'm gonna have to put the camera down, shoot. Okay, so not a lip palette, an eye palette. So they were supposed, the plus membership is just more stuff. So instead of five lip items, I got one, I got an eyeshadow palette, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then the bag so basically two two more items because you did get a bag with the other one so okay one two three four five six seven so seven items okay let me see what the other box has before i make a judgment okay so this is the january lip monthly plus um ugh. okay so we have be a bombshell lipstick I'm not sure the color I have to open it Butterfly Butter Lip Scrub and Peony. This is a, what are you? Hmm, there's no packaging or, oh, no, there is. Um, Illuminati Liquid Lip Gloss. This, Matte Decadence Lip Pencil Crayon thing. The South Main Coconut Lip Treatment. And then this, looks like they have another palette. I will just put the camera down and not even shade yep. blush bronze bronzer, or just a blush, three shade blush palette. So, um, blush palette, a bombshell lip, butterfly butter lip. 
that lip pencil, this lip scrub, and then this lip gloss. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know if I, I don't think I like this any better than I like the regular lip monthly, where I would have gotten like, probably if the regular lip monthly, I just would have gotten those things for like what, $12.95? And I think this is maybe 17, whoa, 17 or 18 bucks. So I'm not really impressed with this. I need to just go back, because I do like Lip Monthly, but I'm not impressed with this. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. But anyway, that is catching up on mail and packages. So with that, I am gonna go ahead now and close out today's, or this vlog, it's two day vlog. Yeah, if you liked it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments below. And of course, make sure you are subscribed and check out the links below the video. You can head over to my Amazon store for all of my books. Um, reselling supplies and household favorites. So I hope you'll go and check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.